Hi, I'm Emma, and this is my story. I don't have a super dramatic come to Jesus moment in my story of how I got to know Jesus because I grew up in the church and I was very involved in the church from a really young age. And um, I don't remember a time in my life whenever I didn't know that Jesus loved me and I didn't know that he had made the ultimate sacrifice for me. Um, I would say my understanding of that sacrifice changed as I got older. And God definitely got my attention at different times in my life, um, and my relationship as a rela my relationship as a result with Him really grew. Uh, the first time was in fifth grade. I would say um, that was pretty pivotal. My family changed churches so that I could get more involved in a youth program with kids that I knew, and that was pretty significant. Um, that's where I learned about accountability and um, building relationships in that way. The second time was whenever I was in college, um, because I did not like college. It, it wasn't for me. Um, you know, I finished, I got my degree, but the college life really just shook me because um, it was just really hard. And it wasn't a very happy time in my life. I was in a really low and really dark place. And um, I ended up needing counseling and I was on medication for a while um, to help with that. And I believe that those are things that God used to bring me out of that pit, um, along with the group of people that I had at college in our Christian fellowship group, um, along with really being intentional in prayer about it. Um, it was, it was a really rough time, but in hindsight, it was a really great time because my relationship with Jesus totally transformed, um, because I was relying on him in a whole new way. So looking back, that's, that's really, that's a really big part of my story. Um, now I would say that, um, like in a nutshell, how's my life different because I know Jesus? Well, I'm more compassionate, I think. Um, and relationships and loving people well are really important to me. And I don't know that they would be as important to me if I didn't know the love that Jesus has for me. Um, that carries over into how I approach motherhood and my marriage. Um, so all that to say, you don't have to have a big come to Jesus moment in order for your story to be significant. Your story is still significant because you have Jesus in your life.